Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is Tuesday, so it is Creative Full Day, and what I am going to be using um, is that beautiful designer series paper that I'm in love with. Um, everybody that's coming to uh, my retreat is getting a pack of this paper because there's just so many things you can do with it. It is the Joyous Noel. It has the foil um, look on the one side but then it has a plain design on the other and I simply love these hollies. So what I have done, I have taken a piece of Mary Malo, it measures five and a half by eight and a half, standard piece of paper. But what I'm going to do is I am going to score it with my trimmer. I am going to score it at, almost scored it at the wrong mark, at the two and an eighth, and then the four and a quarter. So this is a Z fold card and it is just going to fold back on itself like so. What I have taken is a piece of the designer series paper. This measures four inches by five and a quarter and I am going to adhere it to um, the top of my card and I was looking for my snail, there it is. I'm going to put just some extra snail on that and I want to line it up with the border of that card. So I've got this. Because it's the Mary Monroe, I want a piece of white on the inside so that I can write. I'm doing this as a thank you card because I think while we're doing our Christmas cards, it's best to do some thank you cards at the same time, then they'll be ready to go um, as the season approaches. I'm going to take that piece of Whisper White and I'm just going to line it up with the Designer Series paper so that it will be adhered right at the same spot. So then when I open it, it'll cover that up. Next what I have done is I have taken that stitched um, circle and cut that out of white and then I have the layering circles and have done that out of the Mary Malo. I have my stamp set. This is from the Painted Harvest um, stamp set but it's a beautiful um, thank you um, verse so I want to use that. I'm going to take that ink using my paper piercing uh, mat because this is photopolymer and it says your kindness means so much to me more than you will ever know. So I'm going to stamp that like so. Next what I have somewhere here are two hollies that I have cut out. Um, this is from the Peaceful um, Poinsettia a bundle and I am going to take that Mary Merlot. Now with the new ink pads it is hard to squeeze them together when you're out for watercolor. So I've just taken a couple of drops of the refill and I'm going to go in with my aqua painter and just get some of that Merlot to watercolor those out. I'm going to wipe that out and then I'm going to get my tranquil tide to do the holly branches. I did stamp these in the stays on. Stays on seems to work better if you are um, doing water coloring. The Momento ink has a tendency to run um, with the aqua painter. Um, Memento ink works well when you're doing it with the blends. So I've got my holly done. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a glue dot and put them on that circle like so. What I have found is when I watercolor I like to go back in with my Wink Stella because it kind of blends out any rough edges I may have and just gives it a little shine. I'm going to then layer that with dimensional onto 
that scallop circle. Put a couple dimensionals on there. And that just gives it a nice little Merlot um, border around there. I'm going to bring my adhesive and just place that down to the bottom. So there you have it, a fun Z-Fold thank you card for Christmas. Hope you've enjoyed today's card. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.